Good afternoon all, Sunday afternoon, I hope you're well. Um, first and foremost, I just wanted to apologize to the guys. Um, I think I've already mentioned this in one of my recent videos, but um, I was um, going to be posting out all the pipes that had to go out last Friday. I wasn't feeling well on Friday, so they didn't go. And Saturday, um, I don't do any work uh, for religious reasons. Um, and Sunday, there's no post office. And um, I'm actually off now. Monday uh, to uh, Monday and Tuesday, um, so I'm not going to be able to get to the post office until Wednesday. So apologies for everybody that's waiting on a pipe. Um, there's, I mean, I, I got completely up to date last week. There's, there's um, just three or four pipes um, and a couple more now, but um, uh, but those last few um, will be, will be going out on Wednesday or being well. So thank you for your patience on that. Um, so this is um, basically a. A video which was requested by one of my re recent customers, Masood. Shout out to Masood. Thank you very much for your purchase. He's um, purchased this uh, beautiful uh, pickaxe, um, and it's his first pipe, and um, which is pretty amazing. Um, congratulations, Masood. Um, it's I think quite a gutsy decision to to get an artisan pipe as your first pipe. So congratulations on that, and thank you for choosing me. I appreciate it very much. Uh, Masood asked for a little tutorial on how to clean a pipe. Um, so I'll, what I'll do is I'll tell you how to break in the pipe and then how to clean it. So um, a lot of people have seen this already with me because I break in pipes quite often on my channel. Um, but um, the, what I do, you don't have to do this. You can literally take the pipe, fill it with tobacco and smoke it. It's your choice. What I do is I, I dip my finger in honey and I coat the inside of the bowl completely with honey, just a very thin layer, just enough to cover it all. And then I fill the pipe. The reason for that is, is that when you uh, load your pipe and it's got that thin coat and coating of honey, what it does is it caramelizes the honey. You don't get sweet honey flavor or anything like that. It's purely to caramelize it and it sticks to the walls of the pipe and that already starts your carbon cake. Um, and it helps to protect the inside of your pipe. So that's number one. Now in terms of cleaning your pipe, um, so I'll grab one of my pipes. Um, so this is um, one of my pipes, it's an LCS pipe, which I gifted to myself. Um, so say you've just finished the smoke, um, you don't have to go into a major sort of uh, OCD kind of cleaning situation every single time you smoke your pipe. Um, so what I do is, um, I don't have I got any one with tobacco in it? This one's got tobacco in it, so we'll do this one. Um, so you have your ashtray with a knocker if you have one. If not, there's a very simple and cheap way to do it. You can buy um, a cork or even just get a cork from a wine bottle, um, put some super glue on one side and put it into an empty tobacco tin, glue it in, and you've got yourself a knocker ashtray. I use one upstairs all the time. Um, so what I will do is I will get uh, most uh, pipe tools, if you have a check tool. On one of them, there's a there's usually three tools. There's a spoon, um, there's a knife, and there's a poker. You can use the spoon or the knife, whichever one suits you. I don't have one here in front of me, so I'm gonna use that, but don't use a screwdriver normally. Use the, the tool that you've got. So use probably the best thing to use is the, is the, uh, the spoon tool or something similar and just scrape gently and get rid of the old tobacco. Give it a knock on the knocker and just get rid of the tobacco that's in there. So the tobacco is out and all I do between most smokes is I will take a pipe cleaner, bend it in half, not completely, so there's still like a, a U shape there. So there's enough to, so that it hits the walls of the pipe like that. And I'll just hold the ends here so there's still enough uh, springiness there and I'll just give it a good rub around for a couple of seconds and you'll see it'll take off the th the basic layer of, of soot that's in there but you don't want to take everything off you still want to have some blackness left in there so that you're building up a cake that's all I do between smokes and then obviously depending on how uh, religious you want to be about it you could um, every so often dip the uh, thing in alcohol, you can dip it in whiskey, you can dip it in the proper, you know, you can buy the pipe cleaning solutions, which are basically alcohol, but you can use vodka, whiskey, any kind of alcohol, and dip it in and do the same thing again, and it will take a little bit more out 
from the bowl, but I wouldn't do that every single time. I would do that every maybe three to five smokes, you know, because you don't want the build up to be too heavy inside. You clean the stem, take a fresh pipe cleaner. If it's a bent pipe, just give it a little curve like that. So you've got a little springy curve. Obviously, if you've got a filtered pipe, take the filter out. And without spoiling the curve, just put it in and feed it in. And it will follow the shape of your stem. And just backwards and forwards and pull it through this way, not that way, because then you're pulling the dirt back through the stem. Just put it out. And if it comes out dirty, if you're fussy, take a new pipe cleaner. I'm not that fussy because it's just my smoke. Put it through again. And just keep doing that until it comes out clean. Once it comes out clean, then you know the inside of the of the drill is, is pretty clean. Um, again, if you want to assist and making that even cleaner, dip the tip in alcohol and do that and it'll clean it more. Um, then you take the thick side and you put it through the draft hole there and you just backwards and forwards <coughs> excuse me and that will just give it a quick clean and it's as simple as that that's all i do if um, i've got a pipe which has been sitting for a long time or if i buy an estate pipe then i'll be more rigorous um, then i'll spend a lot of time with alcohol uh, maybe a wire brush or something like that but generally speaking um, all you need to do is just give it a quick, quick swipe with a pipe cleaner in the bowl take a fresh pipe cleaner in the stem um, if it's a straight pipe, you can go straight through to the bowl. If it's a bent pipe, which has been drilled well, you should still be able to go straight through to the bowl. Um, sometimes you need to wiggle it, but generally speaking, certainly with this pipe, Masood, um, you shouldn't have any problem going straight through to the bowl. You can see the drill is right in the middle. I'm, st I'm, gonna, I'm still repolishing this now um, because I haven't sent it out to you yet. I've brought it back into the workshop uh, to give it another polish. That's just a bit of uh, dust from the sanding. So you can see though that that's drilled dead center and you put a pipe cleaner through it. I haven't actually done it, so I'm kind of testing myself here. I'll take a clean one. Um, and there's a slight bend on the stem. Let's just see if it goes straight through. So because it's got a slight bend, sometimes you need to twist it a little bit. And there you go. Okay. Yeah, I didn't have the stem on straight. The reason why that didn't go straight through is because I put a curve. So when it goes through, it goes to the bottom because it's a filtered pipe. If this would not be filtered, it would have gone straight through. But it's basically because it's got space in there. So it dips down and misses it. So you have to twist it and it goes through. So that's basically uh, the basics of looking after your pipe and breaking in your pipe. And there isn't really much else to it. Um, when you light your pipe, you know, try and do it with a soft flame, with a match um, or a butane lighter initially till you get the hang of things. And try to make sure that you keep the flame in the bowl so you don't char up the rim. If you char up the rim, it's not the end of the world. You can wipe that with um, with just a, a rag, you can put a bit of saliva on your finger and just wipe it around and it will come off, the blackness will come off, unless you properly scorch it and burn it, that's a different matter. But generally speaking, that black comes off quite easily. I'll show you that as well while we're at it. So I'll just take a regular household tissue and I'll just wet it with my tongue. And there you see, most of it will come off. almost all off there you go pretty much all off if I keep going it'll be pristine so there you go you're back to the original wood with time it will darken all pipes darken with time as you use it with your the, the oils from your hand the tobacco juices from inside the the, the, the the pipe it will darken and that's part of the character of a pipe that's quite normal so there we go so as I say, once again, pipes will be going out on Wednesday. Um, for, uh, I can't do it before then, so I appreciate your patience. There's your pipe, Masood, and um, enjoy it. And uh, I hope it's been of interest to anybody else that's been uh, watching it. And I will catch you on the next one. So I will be 
off now uh, until Tuesday night. I look forward to seeing you then or perhaps on Wednesday. All the best. Catch you on the next one.